Let's go. So do we get anything good? <laughs> Not really. 50 million diamonds. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. 14,000 of those per week. So it's kind of easy to get. What's up, guys? It's Stan Kosh. And today in Immortal Rising, we will talk about diamonds. And we will talk about diamonds from the free-to-play perspective. That means what's the best way to spend diamonds as a free-to-play player at each stage of the game. There will be progression here. And how to earn diamonds as a free-to-play player. For pay to win, guys, it's pretty easy. You buy them, right? Let's go into it. First things first, before spending your diamonds, you would like... We'll start about spending first. That's easier, right? Because most of you guys know how to get them. Uh, first things first, you want to go to the store over here in the shop and buy all those keys available here for the diamonds. That's really important. That will progress help you to progress so much and you don't want to miss this for sure another thing you want to do with the diamonds is do your quick battle over here and make sure that you're doing it in your best stage with the best kill per second ratio that will allow you to get most rewards you want to do all five of those to be honest that will give you quite a good boost of resources and everything to move forward because as you can see that's a lot a lot of rewards right here and the last but not least go to the guild go to the boss and you would like to do the repeat boss fight that will be worth it as well and the last but not least guild quest when you are done with them you can do the quest reset because that will give you way more than it's worth and that's a really good deal now how do you spend diamonds the best way to spend diamonds is after you've done all that are summons obviously that's the main way to spend them and you will be spending most of your diamonds over here first thing you want to do you want to summon weapons and rings before you will reach level 7 over here not here not anywhere else over here at the top that will allow you to get 20 percent extra item find which will be really useful for your farming runs so that's really important moreover from time to time while you're doing this if you are low on diamonds summon pets from time to time because that will help you to progress faster and skills because skills will be important as well when you are summoning things never go for the first option because it's really inefficient one summon with the first option costs well 50 diamonds while Summoning 30 of those will cost 45 each, which is like 10% cheaper. So that's way better option to go for 30 or 300 summons straight away. At A Awakening, when you got all that done, by the way, it's like not based on the Awakening as it is, but mostly on what you already summoned. You should start summoning amulets when you can, because those will help you so much. And uh, you would like to get to the SS tier amulet as soon as possible. When you get SS tier amulet, you should upgrade it as much as you can. Well, I mean, plus five, basically. You don't need to go higher than that. And keep getting it better and better and upgrade it. And, well, I have SS three star right now, which is pretty good. But don't invest too much into it. Plus five is enough. Don't overdo it because you will... Well, you won't use those for long because you will be getting SSS pretty soon. Don't forget that occasionally you want to buy skills because... Well, as you know, skills have skill collection that will give you a lot of stats. Moreover, upgrading skills is really important as well, so that will be necessary for you anyway. After that goes S Awakening, that's where I am right now, I think. Yep, and at this point you would like to keep summoning pets before you will get SS, SSS pets. I'm at that stage right now, I got only one SSS that I got from the event, and I don't have any SS pets, so upgrading them didn't really help me out, so I need to summon more of them. And you would still like to buy spells before you will reach specific milestones you want your b skills to be at level 20 i've got that a skills somewhere around level 15 we are over that right now s skills at level 10 and ss skills well depending if you are lucky i got lucky and i've got all of those but that's basically how you want your skills to be at this point of the game. So yeah, mostly summon pets, but sometimes work on the skills because that will help you a lot in overall stat gains from the skill collection and you will need those skills later on for the upgrades as well. Right now, I want to spend all of my resources on the pets actually. Let's not spend all of them, but spend 1000 and see what do we get. I'm actually curious. Let's go. So do we get anything good? <laughs> not really. What's good about the pets though? They have their own pet probability as well. So as you summon higher tiers, you will get higher chances of getting the better pets. So that's nice. Let's upgrade them all and maybe we will get an SS. Come on. No, we don't. So we still need to summon more pets. Don't really worry about their element and skill at this point. You just want those stats from set effect over here. So get them to the highest tier possible and 
you'll be good. By the time you will reach the next awakening, which is SS, you would like to already have like uh, SSS weapon, ring and amulet from the quest, from all those progressions. You should be able to get it, no problem. I already got the sword and probably other things will come soon. So if you get it by the time you get to SSS, it's good. If not, don't worry about that that much. You don't really want to spend diamonds on summoning weapons at this point because this is not efficient, to be honest. When you get to SS Awakening, which I'm not there yet, by that time you probably will have your runes maxed out because I'm really close to that. You will be as well. So if you haven't maxed those yet, do this. Right now, your priority will be runes change of tactics. And that will be really essential to you because you will use those bloodstones to do those summons over here and you will hope to get as many keys as possible so what do you do you press this and uh, you wait to get the keys all the keys that you get you use so uh let me guide you through this this is really interesting as you can see you got a small chance here to get the golden key raid key armory key rift key and all that stuff and some gems when you get that you go to the dungeon you go to all those runs get more gems over here get all the stuff you can from those runs you will get more gems that you will spend here in the black market again in order to get as many raid keys as possible because that will hasten your progression to sss like two times if you will do it properly so your goal will be getting through this lord of torment through this raid fights as much as possible pushing as far as possible and using all your gems to accumulate as many of those raid stones and using them here in order to get those uh awakened stones and use them for awakening level up so yes basically you would like to summon rules with all your resources here times 30 or times 300 and use those again to try to get more gems more runes in the cycle of getting those keys for awakening moreover summoning bloodstones will passively level up your skills so that's a nice side bonus to your gameplay oh yeah and on top of that obviously put chase your raid keys in the store you can do those resets two times in the guild tab after that it will cost you red diamonds which is mileage points that's not a good deal for sure so while it costs normal diamonds use it all the time after some time you will actually hit sss awakening you can do it normally without those tips with like cycling resources diamonds on that that will be way slower though i don't advise you guys to do this i know how hard it can be and how long so do that once you hit sss you will be back to summoning pets again because you will need to get the proper sss pets right now for your build and that will take quite a long time the guide says that you will have to spend about 50 to 150 million diamonds that's a lot a lot a lot of stuff and once you will be able to deal with that and get to the point of the game where your quick battle over here will give you 10 to 20 s rank pets i don't know when it will happen the guide says it should be about stage 1000 at that point you can stop summoning pets again and go back to summoning runes and yeah that will stay your main thing to do forever after that so yeah let's summon up with the diamond spending weapon and rings to level 7 after that get some skills get some amulets get some pets after that try to max out your skills when it's done work on your amulets to get sss one when you're done from whatever the summoning or something else focus on the pets till you will hit sss rank occasionally still summon skills when you get to SS rank, you would like to focus on the runes until you will be able to cycle them to get more awakening stones for getting to SSS ranking. Then go back to pet summoning until you get your right pets. When you're done, go back to the runes and summon more of those until, well, until you will die or abandon the game. That's the current meta at least. Now let's move on to earning diamonds. Now this is harder because you got not that many ways to do that. The main source of your diamonds will be mailbox because most of the diamonds will be rewarded from the dev by things. Uh, guide map as we already talked about that is a good source of diamonds but it's limited. You got your collections when you are done with the, one of those you will get a bit of diamonds. It's not that crazy as well. Quest board can give us some diamonds too. By the way Spending diamonds on the rerolls here might be a good thing, but you don't want to overuse it because each next roll gets more and more expensive. So give yourself a limit over here and roll it a few times a day till you will be happy with the results and then stop and just 
do the summons because otherwise you might spend more than you will get. Usually you would like to get diamonds here that you will send back into that cycle, so yeah. Then we got the daily quest, obviously, that will give us some diamonds, not that many though, again, it's not crazy amount. Repeat quests give you some, weekly quests give you some, that's obvious, right? We already talked about goblin wall that gives you diamonds. Some bounty hound levels will give you some diamonds as well, so that's another option. Weekly rewards for the arena and the bosses and everything will have you some extra diamonds as well. Even on my level right now, I'm already at silver one and I'm getting 14,000 of those per week. So it's kind of easy to get. Mini games, there are a lot, a lot of small ways to get diamonds, but in reality, the easiest way for you to get those diamonds will be actually waiting for them in the mailbox using the uh, codes and all that stuff. There we go, 7,000 diamonds times two. Pretty nice, right? By the way, guys, I think you want to buy all those raid keys here as well. They are not expensive, but they will be helped. Another good source of diamonds are the events. Here you can, well, those are one-time thingies, right? But they will help you out early game pretty useful so, some current events when you do those runs and everything they should give you some diamonds as well if you land on them like there we go bam that's easy we're getting some let's see how much do we get after spend we spent all of our stuff that we got today we've got 31,000 diamonds so pretty good reward not that bad season pass everything like you just gotta check those notifications everywhere get all rewards and you will get them even as a free-to-play player you get plenty of diamonds i don't feel like i'm starving on them to be honest i really feel that this game is generous in diamonds for the free-to-play players so it's pretty nice <laughs> So yeah, guys, that's what you do with the diamonds in Immortal Rising, and that's how you get them. Let me know if you have extra tips for diamonds down below in the comments. While you're going there, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the video description for the links. We have the LD player that will allow you to play this game on the PC in the AFK mode. Really useful, more rewards. Then you got my other YouTube channel, social media, playlist with other guides for Immortal Rising and other useful stuff over there. You will find something cool over there for sure. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stay on out. Have a good one. Bye.